Okay, so 12.2 is on frequency and histograms, and histograms are kind of like bar graphs, and frequency is how many times something shows up. So. Alright, so to do a frequency table, um, make your column. There's an interval column, a tally column, and a frequency column, and I'll show you what to do with each of them. First thing, let's look at our data set, and we got to look at the lowest, the lowest data point and the highest data point, and for this one, it's 2 and 17. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to make intervals for our data, and these intervals can be different for every single person in the class, but you kind of have to make it where it makes sense. So for this, inter I mean, this data set, where our intervals, I'm going to make them be from 1 to 5 and then from 6 to 10 and then from 11 to 15 and then from 15 to 20. I like intervals of 5 and all data sets don't go well with intervals of 5 but this one will so I'm going to use intervals of 5. Okay so um, what you do in the tally column is you you take your number like 7 and that will go between 6 and 10 and 17 goes between 15 and 20 and 14 goes between 11 and 15 so you see what I'm doing um, so you just tally them up and you put a tally every time one of the numbers shows up in that interval so I went ahead and finished the table um, in the frequency column, you write down the number of tallies that you got, and then that's your frequency table. And the other thing you can do here is make a histogram, so that's kind of like a bar graph. And you have an, an x-axis and a y-axis, and on the, the x-axis you put the intervals, and then on the y-axis you're going to put the numbers that you got for the intervals. This should be 16 to 20, not 15. Um, so this is your frequency over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you're going to put a bar that does not overlap and does not... have gaps in your histogram. Oops. Okay, so that's your histogram. It's a bar graph, and this one is skewed. We'll talk about that on the next slide. All right, there's three different type, types of histograms. There is the uniform histogram, and that's where all the bars are kind of almost the same all the way across. There is the symmetric histogram, and that's where it's either taller in the middle, and it's like stair steps going down on either side, or it could be shorter in the middle and then stair steps going up on either side, kind of like a V. And then they're skewed, where one side of the graph is taller or shorter depending on how you look at it from the other side. So let's just do a little practice on how to tell. If we look at A here, the tall the middle is taller and it stair steps down on either side. So this one is going to be symmetric because it's symmetrical. If you draw a line here and you folded it onto itself, it's going to look kind of like they match. And then if you'll look at this histogram, 
it's stair steps down on either side, but the middle of it's not in the middle. If I drew a line here and folded it, it would not fold on it to itself. This is skewed. One side of it's taller than the other side. One side has more steps than the other side. So this one's going to be skewed. All right, now let's talk about a cumulative frequency table, and that's just where you make a frequency table, but you count up your frequencies as you go to tell how many how many there are. So we'll make our frequency table. I have to go from zero, lowest number, to 49, highest number. So I feel like I want to go by tens. That'll give us, what, five intervals? Um, so we'll go by tens. So how about uh, zero to nine? 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, and then 40 to 49. All right, so what I want to do here is because I don't have my tally column. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go through and circle every one that's between 0 and 9. So it's going to be 3, 1, 7, 1, 5, 2. Any one digit number. 2, 0, 1, 2, 0. So how many numbers is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11. That's 11. All right, and then do the same thing from 10 to 19. So any number that starts with a one digit. So it's going to be 17, 11, 13. And that's it. So there's three of those. Now the cumulative frequency, first one, you take the number you have over. Because what you're going to do is add from where you are back. And that's going to be your cumulative frequency. So when I do the first one, I only have 11. So I'm just going to bring 11 over. But now I've got 3 and 11, so how many is that? 14. So that's my cumulative frequency. So that goes there. And now I'll do 20 to 29. So any one that starts with a two digit, so it's going to be 22, 21, and 27. So that's 3. And then you take all of these and you put it there. So it's going to be 14 plus 3, which is 17. Now let's try it again. Uh, 30 to 39, so it's going to be 30. 39, that's 2. Add those and you get 19. And then one more time with gusto. 49 and 41, that's 2. Add those, it's 21. And the beauty about this is you can make sure you didn't forget anything because you can go through and count all the digits in the data and make sure that you had 21. Okay, but and then you can also make a histogram from this, but you don't do anything with the cumulative frequency. You just use the intervals and the frequency like we did before. All right, pause it. These are your got it questions. Write these on a separate sheet of paper. Of course, go back and look if you don't understand it. But here, I need you to make a frequency table go ahead and make a column for the cumulative frequency because that's number three, and then make a histogram of the data. So I'm fine if you just want to go ahead and make a cumulative frequency table and then a histogram because this is going to be included in number three anyway. Of course, if you have any questions, um, you know how to reach me, please do. Maybe you won't have any questions, and if you don't, I'll see you tomorrow.